Will Tesla stock go back up again? Huge shift in Tesla's um, future value. Okay, guys, so in this video, we're going to be talking about Tesla. Okay, so I haven't talked much about Tesla lately because the stock has been down pretty substantially year to date. Okay, it's been down 35% year to date. And, um, you know, over the last year, it's um, actually up 34%. So one of the things about Tesla is, is I talk a lot on this channel about Lucid um, Group and things like that, because I believe that they have a lot of upside. But Tesla was grossly overvalued, okay? So it's one of the reasons why um, people like Bill Gates were shorting the stock. But we've seen a change in the market guys okay I made the previous video saying that Tesla stock could go down to 500 but there's been a big shift in the market that took place on Thursday and last Friday um, uh, you know around the 13th or the 14th of May when billionaires started buying up stocks like crazy so that is a huge huge bullish signal so we have to talk about Tesla right now because right now it's sitting at a nice support level okay uh, bounce right nicely off a of support level of 700 and it's currently traded at an RSI of 30 guys so I really thought Tesla stock was gonna dip down to 500 when the billionaires came in to buy that completely flipped the sentiment of the market so we're gonna talk a little bit about Tesla in this um, video guys if you guys enjoy my content please share smash the red subscribe button and hit the thumbs up as well okay guys so the really really big news on Tesla okay so Tesla's China factory should be opening back up soon and that's huge news okay so this was posted on Seeking Alpha it says Shanghai to gradually reopen business as COVID cases drop okay so if we take a look here why this is so important okay Tesla's China factory represents about 50 percent of their entire production okay so we take a look here at what happened in this situation this is huge news so okay so according to Google it says Tesla delivered um, 484,000 vehicles in 2021 with the China Gigafactory that's around 51 percent of their global deliveries and as you can see here okay China's Tesla deliveries dropped substantially in April due to the Shanghai lockdowns so um, the company was only able okay to produce around 10,000 vehicles in April and only sold 1,500 of them so that's a big 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 drop off okay okay and that really is going to affect um, Tesla in Q2. So as you can see here, it says Tesla delivered 1,500 vehicles from a Shanghai plant versus 65,000 vehicles in March. Okay, and a monthly record of almost 71 vehicles delivered in December 21. So the production in the Shanghai plant has been absolutely plummeting, and that's really going to affect. Okay, it's really going to affect Tesla's Q2. Okay, so obviously 50% of their deliveries. Uh, was in um, China and then they went from 65,000 cars in March to just about 1,500 cars in April so they won't be able to make that up that fast okay um, they've lost basically an entire month of production which is you know obviously if you can look at the quarter that's basically like a third of their production so it shouldn't it shouldn't look good for Tesla um, in Q2 okay so it says the automaker delivered uh, three three hundred and ten thousand vehicles in the first quarter so uh, it says analysts are expecting about 300,000 units for Q2 prior outlook before the lockdown in Shanghai was 350,000 units so their deliveries are actually going to go down so we don't really um, know exactly how the market is going to respond but we do need to talk about uh, a lot of billionaires coming in and buying the dip okay so um, if we take a look at some of the, the indices when we take a look at the Nasdaq here Okay, so we take a look at the NASDAQ here. We can see the NASDAQ is down about 25% year to date. So it's already kind of, um, you know, uh, went past the 20% mark, which would be considered a bear market. But it looks like that a lot of uh, smart money is coming in and buying the dip. So if the market has flipped on Tesla, then I really do think that it is potentially possible that this could be the time to buy the dip now the only problem is is like I said about the deliveries they're gonna they're gonna be um, a lower um, number of deliveries in Q2 and we don't know how the market is going to react up to that so there is some potential risk so I would say if we were looking in terms of like overall stock valuations over the Nasdaq Tesla stock looks like a good time to jump in 
But if we were to look at the quarterly report, Tesla could miss on their deliveries, okay? And we don't know how uh, the market's going to react to that if they miss their deliveries due to the Shanghai lockdowns. We could see a substantial drop in price. So I'm a bit torn here, guys. I really need to get some uh, more information as we head towards the, the end of Q2. But, um, you know, it really looks like you could do... Uh, do really well by basically buying the dip here on Tesla. I think, you know, obviously people were buying it at 1200 Now you're getting it at a fair discount, okay? It's still down pretty much 35% year to date. And Tesla's been popping, okay, guys? You know, the P.E. ratio has come down a ton. I believe at one point Tesla's P.E. ratio was like three or 400 Now it's down into around 100 okay? And, uh, you know, this supply chain issue affected a lot of companies, okay? In fact, affected Apple, Tesla many companies that, that do business in Shanghai so this isn't just like an isolated event so what I would say here is definitely interesting to see um, Tesla now Tesla has been a, a great performer we talked a lot about Tesla on this channel but for a while there it was just simply too overvalued so that's one of the reasons why I wasn't talking about it much but now that I find like the price is much more attractive I think this is a decent time to get in and I still have my long-term bullish price target on Tesla I do think Tesla stock will 10x throughout this decade even though they have a lot of issues and things like that they're still the clear leader in the electric vehicle market and uh, they have a lot of room to grow okay they're involved in obviously a lot of other different businesses including solar they're going to get into bitcoin mining um, they huddle bitcoin they're, they're launching tesla bots and things like that uh, full self-driving so so many things going on of course the cyber truck uh, is going to be produced in the new Texas Gigafactory. So, so many amazing things. The Tesla Semi, the list goes on and on and on. So I really think that this is an interesting time to get into Tesla. I'll probably be buying some calls here on Tesla. And then as we head towards the, um, the earnings release in July, seeing how the market might react to that earnings release, I might buy some puts because they're definitely going to miss on their deliveries due to the, the massive drop off in Shanghai in April. But the good news is, is that the Shanghai factory uh, will probably be opening up sometime this month. So I expect the market to respond very positively to that. So there's definitely some profit to be made here, buying Tesla stock, getting into to calls, and then the potential to basically short right up heading to the earnings report if the, the earnings report misses. Uh, due to that lockdown in April, we'll see how the market responds. So that's all I got for this video, guys. I just thought it was an interesting time. You know, it looks like a, the bulls have taken over the market. Stocks have been beaten down enough, and people are looking to jump in and buy some dips. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoy my content, please smash the red subscribe button and hit the thumbs up uh, if you guys uh, like this video. Really help other people see it. So that's all I got. Until next time, guys. Take care.